Uh, don't know if you can read that. Barely care. Says the Tate Modern. Fancy entering there. Check out some Francis Bacon. About the only artist of any significance in my wibbly wobbly head. I tend to find that with art. You just find somebody who's at the top of the game and then you just wait for something else to come along that blows you away more and it doesn't happen. So you end up stuck with people like Bach with a late Beethoven fucking Francis Bacon. And if you've read any poetry, you end up with T.S. Eliot and the quartets, which cannot be fucking beaten. The odds of me reading fucking anything which beats his fucking quartet in my lifetime is just fucking is nil, you know. I've, I've read the best poetry that is in a fucking story. Why am I here? I've clearly took the wrong way in. And yes, I it does have that Battersea Power Station look about it. I saw heard some fucking mockney cunt fucking singing another brick in the wall earlier. Made us obviously want to take my own life and all that. But, uh, there you go, that's just me. I'm sure you can relate. Oh, no. Hey, I'll tell you something you probably can fucking relate to. Even though I don't feel I can relate to fucking anyone these days. Phil Collins, as was mentioned earlier, when we walked past that homeless gentleman. Phil Collins, I think you'll agree, is a cunt. That's all I've really got to say on it. Nothing else, let's get in the tit. Although, I, there was one, what was that fucking song he did, which was, ah, read, Mama, I quite like Mama, you know, but I would have liked it more. First few times I heard it, I thought, fucking hell, he's writing about fucking incest, you know? He's tackling a fucking meaty subject. But clearly the song isn't about that at all, and it's about as ambiguous and vague as a fucking Oasis lyric, you know? I.e. it's fucking filled with nothing, you know? It doesn't mean shit. But had that been about fucking incest, I might have piped up, you know? I might have fucking forgiven him for fucking Cecilia. But no, he didn't write it about incest. Mm. He was not writing about tackling, well, from the mother's point of view, quite literally tackling a meaty subject between her son's legs. Mom, it's fucking huge, isn't it? Mom, will you tackle me meaty subject? I will not tackle your meaty subject. Last time I tackled your meaty subject, Phil Collins wrote a song about it. We can't be having that. Oh, go on, please, tackle me meaty subject. I'm not tackling your meaty subject. He might write another song about it. He not though. What if I, what if I ask Sting? He might write a better song about it. It'll be a bit more tasteful, some flamenco guitars, and he'll use longer words. I'm not tackling your meaty subject just so Sting can use a flamenco guitar and some long words to write about the fact that I am tackling your meaty subject. Now go to school or tidy your room or both. Oh man, it's such a drag. I'm never gonna get in this fucking Tate fucking monastery or whatever the fuck it's called. Let's fucking rock. Come on.